how's everybody doing how's everybody doing excited to be here how's everybody doing this is uh the copper pastor aka prophet malaka ingandu and i'm joined by my wife mm -hmm, pastor t <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know where you're watching from please just kindly share the video let us know where you're watching the video from and let us uh let us let us know where you're watching the video from this is prophet malaka ingandu aka the couple of pastor and i'm excited to be here please just kindly share the video share the video share the video share the video in many groups as much as you can possibly do so share the video and uh, let's get talking uh there is a reason why I have taken the responsibility of coming to talk about certain things that are trending in our country, Zambia. And then when I just hear certain things that are really, or that I feel are not standing on to bring the, the quality morals that we are trying to raise this country with. It is my responsibility as a servant of God to bring sanity, to bring light to things that seem to incapacitate our moral standard in a country every time the righteous stay silent wickedness always prevails and it is the responsibility of every man and woman of god to begin to speak the word of god into the darkness when confusion is ruling in a country servants of god are supposed to come out and speak because when we speak we bring light and that's the reason why I was able to talk about, I'm able to talk about quite a number of things, okay? And the reason is simple. It's because we are the mouthpiece of God. Zambia is a Christian nation. And if, if we see something that is not in line, honey, with the principles of God, I think it's only imperative that we speak against such things. That's right. So wherever you're watching me from, I can see some people watching from the UK. Uh, this is uh, Jackson. Mwanza for watching from the UK. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, many other people. Please just kindly share the video so we have a, a greater reach and I'm with my wife. Now, today I'm going to be tackling the issue of, uh, is it Tina? Is it? Yeah, so there's Tina and, um, and uh, Mrs. Mrs. Kennedy. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Had a, there was a restaurant that was my favorite. It was just used to come. Kennedy! <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, there's, been, there's been a story. There's been something that has been trending. And uh, these are two beautiful young women, my love, mm -hmm. that have gone on through social media and they keep exchanging words. Okay. They keep calling themselves names. And that's why I had to bring my wife. I had to bring my wife to say, you know, I think, I think it's imperative that we, uh, we, we deal with this today with my wife right here. So, I don't... <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate every time, my love, when I see women begin to fight themselves, begin to fight each other, begin to degrade each other in the presence of uh, us men. Because, you know, one thing about us men is that men, we can insult each other. But trust me, that stuff comes out with a lot of love. True. But women, one thing I've seen is that you call yourselves sweet words. Oh, my love, my yeah, darling, my tweenie. And then you people stab each other. Yeah. You people want to kill each other. Sure. And it shouldn't be that way. Me as a man, when I see that women that are supposed to be united, you know, because women are mothers in nature. Sure. Women are supposed to be mothers in nature. They always harness greatness. Mm. So when we begin to see young people, we should be mindful of the generation we are trying to raise. Mm. When we have young girls, young ladies, like Tina and uh, Mrs. Kennedy, I don't know her real name, 
But if, yeah, so if we have young women like that beginning to insult right in front of our social media platforms, guess what? That is the narrative going all across and everywhere. My love, please, you can say some things. Um, okay, for me, you know, I don't like social media, but for me to be here, it's actually something that has yeah. really touched my heart. Mm. Uh, these are very beautiful women, like you said, yeah. very vibrant, both hardworking, both doing their own things. Mm. Um, I don't know Tina much, but from what I have seen, she's a single mother who's really um, done the most for herself. Okay. She's really um, hardworking from what I've seen. And I think I heard her, I learned of her from a friend at okay. school. And she was like, you know, this girl really inspires me, whatnot. Mm. When I looked at her, I was like, oh, this is really amazing. She's doing great for herself. Awesome. Then Mrs. Kennedy as well, you know, she's, 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 she's an amazing woman. Also okay. hardworking, business minded. Awesome. I love it. But... When I saw these two ladies really fire serious shots at each other, mm. I was just, it, it just hurt me. Okay. <laughs> I have seen, I've seen social media beef. Mm. I've seen people fight. I've seen mm. people call each other names. But the thing is, these two beautiful ladies are people's mentors. Mm. Mm. These are people that young girls are looking up to. These are people that people, young people want to be like. Mm -hmm. And these are what we call role models. Oh, yes. So if our role models are behaving the way they are right now, what kind of seed are they planting in the young girls that are looking up to them? What seed are they planting in the younger generation? People mm. that just want to be like them. It's a wrong seed in that they will think doing exchanging words and mm. insulting diminishing each other mm. and belittling each other on social media is just a way to go oh yeah it's it's um i couldn't really finish um the video mm. because of some of the words that were there but Ash, i don't know why women why we women love to pull each other down I've seen men argue over small things, but you never see men call each other out the way we women do. It's like we have this bitterness in us that is just ready to be unleashed, given an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And once that opportunity is given, we oh, just geez. want to prove ourselves. So you know what? I can talk like this and I can I say I can this. do this. I can yeah. say that. And... It's like we women, we it's like we always want to seem like we're doing better than the other. Instead of us queens yeah. <laughs> supporting each other, raising yeah. each other, fixing each other's crowns, mm. we are here just dethroning each other. I mm. don't think it should be that way. The issue of I'll mention one issue. Oh, yes. Um I know there were a lot of things that were mentioned. But one issue that really got to me, so I even called you when when you were out, was the issue of um, throwing shade when it comes to having children. Mm. I think for me that's a very sensitive issue. It's a very sensitive issue in that I have been in that position before. Yeah. In in a situation where you just have a many 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 misunderstanding with somebody and they just come right at where it hurts i don't think any woman in her rightful mind okay yes there are some that don't want to have children but most women just growing up we play house mm -hmm. why do we play house we we try to nurture ourselves into how wow. we are going to become better moms mm -hmm. better wives mm -hmm. that's, that's why that's, we play that's, house that's deep that's deep that's why we play house mm. when we're playing house on the mummy we make all these pretty little dolls they're our children meaning we all want that for ourselves mm. Mm. so i don't think a woman would just say she's married and you know how marriage is when you just get married everybody will just start looking at you like mm -hmm. you know like they want to see how big your tummy is and whatnot but i feel it is not right for us women to just go out there and just start 
throwing stones at each other saying i am barren this i am barren that i think for me that's very that's very sensitive and very touching mm. <laughs> I, I don't know mrs kennedy personally oh, yeah. i've never spoken to her i've never spoken you know i don't love social media I just came no, back no, no, no. i know but i literally had to drag my wife she's not on social media <laughs> I created a page for her so she could be preaching from there but hey my wife is not a social media person so I usually she, get affected yeah. by such things that's why I think I, I try to avoid social media by mm. all costs because people just just touch Say you whatever. yes so looking at people you know people everybody i always tell people so everybody is battling something mm -hmm. almost every person that you see has got something they're battling mm -hmm. Your battles might not be my kind of battle. My mm. problems cannot be your problem. But each and every person alive is fighting for something. They're mm. battling something. Mm. So people might appear happy. They might appear excited. They, they might appear all happy on social media. But mm. you do not know what they're facing. What, and what they're, they're fighting. facing behind all these cameras and whatnot. Wow. For me, I feel this issue of children is very sensitive and it's high time people learned how to address such issues. It's a blessing. The Bible says children are a blessing from God. A blessing, they, actually, they yes. from God. Yeah. And when God gives you that gift, I believe he has entrusted you with a blessing that you have to nurture into something good. Mm. And the fact that your friend might be in a Hannah stage does not mean she is never going to have her own. And that is not something that people should actually capitalize on. People have got different conditions. Being in a medical field, I have come across women that have had crazy conditions that you can't even explain. And they are fighting all those conditions mm -hmm. and every day that goes by they have hope to say no maybe something something is going to turn out yeah and imagine living in a world or a society where people are always throwing that shade on you, shade on mm -hmm. you and not knowing the kind of um battles that you fight the kind of um crazy medical situations that you have going on yes it's it's really sad in other words, what you're trying to say is that people must develop a certain level of sensitivity yes. when it comes to issues of barrenness or, or stuff like that, childlessness. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's something that I feel a lot of people take so lightly and yeah. it's, it's been there for generations. True. People never understood and then when people don't understand whatever they don't understand, they begin to criticize. Sure. So uh, I will let my wife talk about that. Then me, I'll just come in to talk about both relationships and how everything has been going. Because I feel that's where we need to bring the counsel of God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what is happening in a country. But I can certainly tell you, I am not a quiet type of pastor. Yeah. I always speak up. Mm. I always speak up. And I always voice that I will always bring the mindset of God in every situation. For me, it is the mindset mindset of God that really matters. And uh, this issue, I think, a whole lot of people need to be educated about it and educated on it because even certain questions people ask, you can't just uh, meet somebody and then the first thing you ask is, "How many children do you have?" Somehow, I feel like it's a it's a bit rude. You know, because you don't know what people are battling. Sure. Uh, I think there must be a certain level of proximity that allows you to go that far. Mm. If I don't know you so well and I'm meeting you for the first time and you're asking me about kids, I'll be asking you, do you want to give me some? It's not really you being... That's the thing. And it's, just, it's, 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 a bit, it's, it's, just, it's too personal. I, think, I don't know you I that well. I think that question is just not meant to be asked even by people that are close to you because sometimes people <laughs> decide to keep certain things and certain topics to themselves yeah. you might be very close but you can never share everything with them so whether mm. you're a distant friend or a close friend i don't think certain questions are, are, relevant. are relevant i don't think they should be asked and you know honey what mm. really 
what really injured me was when I was running, like the time I was watching the, yeah. the video, this lady was talking, she called her friend a baron and something. And there's a point she said, you will never have a child. You never know what labor pain feels like. Mm -hmm. We are women that are supposed to be helping each other. Mm -hmm. For me, I think it's a disease or it's maybe, uh, we might call it an OCD or something. But for me, when I see a fellow woman having a problem, I always try by all means to find a solution to it, even as much as it doesn't concern me. Yeah. But if I feel she's comfortable to talk about certain things with me and I yeah. feel a fellow woman is ready to receive help from me, mm. I try at nothing to do it, to render help. help yeah. If she is distant, I try by all means to talk to people that are close to her and render that help through the people that know her, mm. okay? Because what really, really, really hurt me is the fact that m most of those comments, honey, that were on that post were women laughing and supporting to say, tell her, hey, Chevelapo, you know, and all that. And these are women that are supposed to be saying, no, 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 you guys, this is wrong. Mm. I love one point that the young lady, Tina, said. She said, inendine mwana mungono. So if you know that you are young, why are you actually exchanging words with an adult? Hmm. On the other side, the other lady as well, she is, um, I believe she's older than the young lady. And I feel if she felt offended, this is social media. People easily get to know each other. People are connected. We're interconnected. Hmm. She would have found a way of um, finding her line and trying to talk to hmm. her. Because my Bible in Colossians 4, 6 says, Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each other. Yeah. So if our speeches are not seasoned with salt and we do not know how to respond to each other, this mm. is where we find ourselves insulting each, each other, other and mm. talking of things as sensitive as having or rather being barren which wow. nobody would want to be addressed as. Wow. Nobody would want to, 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 to have their children as well called out because we all don't know how that lady, that young lady equally is doing what she's doing to make sure that her children are well taken care of. Oh, exactly. I don't feel sh that should be the case as well. I don't feel somebody has to start calling out people's children and whatnot. I, 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 you know, I, I think for me, um, how I decide to have children is none of your business. Yeah. How many I, children I decide to have is equally none of your business. There is this thing where people sometimes want to come and begin to laugh at somebody and say, no, yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, so fine, if that's what I wanted. Because remember, the Bible says, he that commits sexual immorality, primarily, do you know that they sin against themselves first? Hmm. Before they sin against God. How is sexual immorality a sin against God? It's because God commanded that we must be pure. Hmm. That's why you're sinning. Hmm. But when you're doing the act, what you are first of all sinning against is your own body. Yeah. Ah, I don't know if it's making sense to these people. Okay. So, you see, you find that. You can't begin to tell me how I should treat my body, how I should, what I should do with my body, how many children I should have with my body, with who, with mm. which woman. Mm. If I want to have seven women impregnated, that's my business. But however, people say things to hurt another person because they are trying to cut off a piece of that person's heart. Mm. That's why you always call it, I gave him a piece of my, my mind. My mind. So, how do you allow somebody to occupy a piece? Because every time I'm speaking something to hurt you, I'm trying to give you the piece of my mind. It's my mind I'm giving to you. So, for me to give you and it fits into your mind, some parts of you must be broken. Mm. So that my parts now fit in you. So, what that means, a person that tells you their, their, who speaks their what? Speak it will speak pieces of their mind, a piece of their mind gives you, they begin to navigate how you ought to behave. Mm -hmm. That's why how come somebody can say something hurtful and then now you feel like replying 
aggressively, ag aggressively like, I, I, I feel this. Why you are feeling like that is because they are giving you a piece of their mind, a piece of their mind. And that mind, that they, a piece they are giving you is toxic. Mm. So you eventually equally become toxic because that part that is now operating is no longer your part. It's the part coming from the person who wants to offend you. Mm. Kayaba. <laughs> so this is why we must be careful. So I'm going to look at the whole scenario together. I don't know where this beef started from, but I just want you to understand this. You are women. You, it doesn't matter. Even if, even if, as long as Tina is not 13, she's a woman. Mm -hmm. As long as she's not seven, she's a woman. Yeah. Mrs. Kennedy, I like the fact that you are so proud of your husband, such that actually you rose to fame because of your uh, marriage. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I think in a generation like now, where people sometimes speak so negatively about marriage, it's amazing to see young people celebrate the union. And just have the and pride. The pride of being married. Yes. Tina, you, you said you have two kids. I think you should be proud of yourself. You don't look like you even have one child. I think you look so well taken care of. I really applaud you. Mm -hmm. For me, you're, you're a hardworking girl. Honestly, I didn't know who Tina was. I was saying, I was seeing the video because somebody sent it over. And I'm saying, and then she's there. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, she's got two kids. I mean, you are doing a great job for yourself. You must really clap for yourself because I'm already clapping for you. Mrs. Kennedy, like I've said, it's amazing. For me as a pastor, I'm excited when I see young people proud of their marriages. Young people flourishing in marriage. But I'm going to read you just a few scriptures and then maybe my wife and I will just contribute one or two things. Proverbs chapter 21. What is the counsel of God in this scenario? Somebody called out the friend and the friend got upset and then they begin to exchange words. Okay. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 9. The Bible says, It is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than be than being with a brawling woman in a wide house. A brawling woman is a quarrelsome person. You know, being quarrelsome is a spirit mm. that a lot of you young people in this generation, that spirit has been vomited on the earth. And young women have become very quarrelsome. And you're wondering why you can't sustain relationships. Mm. It's because... The Bible says it is better. It is extremely better for a man to live in the corner of a house than to be with a quarrelsome person. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there is something that pushes men or pushes people away every time you are quarrelsome. Mm -hmm. And so you two young ladies, what is causing you to hurt each other? It's because you are quarrelsome in nature. That is the what? That is the problem. And the, as soon as we don't go to the root of the problem, what is causing this? These two people will continue fighting and insulting each other. But we must bring the word of God. Somebody, there's a young lady that got divorced and it, uh, I think the, the divorce was everywhere. And then people are saying, how can you divorce and blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, how can you divorce such a beautiful woman? And sometimes what people don't understand is that it's not the beauty that keeps a man staying with you. That's true. The beauty is a billboard that brings men to your shop. The shop is your soul. Mm. The shop is your personality. Mm. So when people look at a mannequin by the, at, at the uh, outside the, 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 the boutique, the, it doesn't mean they've entered the boutique. No. When they see the mannequin, the mannequin is actually out there to show people a glimpse of what they have inside. The boutique. Mm -hmm. So when I see the beauty of my wife, this is not all she is. This is just an advert to say I can be this gorgeous. And so when I get interested and I go there and then begin to create a relationship, there are other qualities that begin now to culminate into having a long-lasting relationship. It's just not a matter of, ah, but I can't leave her, she's beautiful. I, there are so many more beautiful women on earth, man. Sure. There are so many more handsome men out there you must not be a stupid person tied in a beautiful body. Hmm. Avoid becoming an illiterate person.
person in a very sexy body. Because when you become a fool, packaged in a nice body, you will attract men. And the moment they come closer to you, they'll only know to say, hey, you know, when I saw this person, I thought I was going to build something with them. But at the end of the day, I've, I've seen that she, she, she can offer nothing apart from sex. And the moment they hump you, that's the end of that relationship. And we keep and we keep wondering how, why do men keep leaving that lady or why do uh, the, the, why can't this person sustain their marriage? It's because when you're quarrelsome in nature, you repel people. You repel people. Mm. I was counseling somebody just a few days ago, and they said I impregnated somebody because my wife could not give me peace of mind at home. Mm. The moment I just went home, it was a fight. And then you look at this person. But you know you've got the money you are you are good looking and all that but why would you not just talk to your wife i mean says no she was just unbearable because she was quarrelsome so if men can men are stronger eh? yeah if they run away from such a person imagine how many of your friends are running away imagine how many of the opportunities are running away mm -hmm. imagine how many beautiful things are running away from you because you are quarrelsome my two young ladies i want to speak to you that god loves you and I want to advise you, don't be quarrelsome. Why should you be insulting each other on social media? This is a public forum. If somebody wanted to em employ you, can they go ahead and employ you with the stupid language that you have? With the bad language that you have? Second scripture. The same Proverbs 21, verse 19. It says, it is better to dwell in the wilderness. It's better to go and stay in the bush than being with a contentious and angry woman. You two people, you are angry. That's the reason why you are vomiting all those hurtful things against yourselves. It's because you are not moving in love. The Bible says, do unto others as you would want them to do to you. So, when you speak certain things and you want to hurt your friend, you must always imagine, would I be okay if somebody spoke to me the same way I'm speaking to this person. There are certain things like uh, childlessness. When you see people, for me, I'm not really bothered about it. I have prayed for a lot of people that God has blessed with children. They stayed 15, 8 years or whatever. God can reverse anything. Amen. I don't know what Mrs. Kennedy is going through. I don't know what my little sister Tina is going through. But I can tell you that there is a God that cares about both of you. There is a God that wants you to live in harmony with everybody. Yeah. There, is, there is a God that wants to see peace reign. And that's what I'm going to do in this country. I'm not going to allow the spirit of disunity. I'm not going to sit here and allow the spirit of, 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 of just uh, breaking relationships and breaking marriages and all. I am going to speak up on any issues that are, the, any issues that are affecting our morals. Because, honey, in a country, we are very, very careful about talking on economy. When the economy is bad, we've got activists mm -hmm. that come to spearhead and say, hey, do something about the economy. When we see that things are going, maybe the prices of commodities are going and rising higher, there is always activists rising up to speak against it. But we have got no activists for morality. Thank goodness. You know, I think this reminds me of a conversation that you and I had some time back when I was telling you to say we have a lot of wrong role models around people that are showing our children. I was actually saying I'm actually very worried about the kind of world I'm bringing my children to because mm. there's a lot of wrong people that have just gone ahead. Ahead, yeah. And just messed things up and mm. they've given our children this kind of behavior they are the baddest kind of attitude and this is what our children are going to be born into it actually just gives me chills all over my body knowing that mm. there are recent people that there there are actually very little people mm. that have stood up to correct the wrong kind of uh, behavior that these role models have because mm. 
honestly if you look at most young girls around mm. if you look at how they behave if you look at how they carry themselves out just how they talk they you you would see a you'd see a session a certain personality in them you'd be like oh that this girl is talking like so and so oh yes and it would worry to say oh okay so looking at how so and so behaves how is this young girl going to grow what mm. else is she looking up to in life how does she think she's going to keep up looking at the fact that the person that she's looking up to knows what she does or knows what mm. he does for them to be where they're at wow wow That's so funny. i look at these young girls and you know sometimes you you become so shocked that you don't even have things to say you just say a prayer to yourself and you'll be like god just help me because our young children are being influenced by wrong people by wrong things by wrong cultures mm. it is very sickening because very few people like you said do not want to come out and teach these young people the right to do the right things oh my god oh my god they don't want to speak out because they feel they'll have a backlash with whoever mm -hmm. but i believe it is very important and imperative that we begin to raise the right role models Amen. that are going to lead our children mm -hmm. into better people you, that are going to help our children become people that other children are going to look up to what really hurts me is the fact that tina is a beautiful mother of two and Mrs. Kennedy is actually a beautiful mother of a baby girl. And this is one thing I want to, to clear off. I don't really have to give birth to a child through normal birth for me to mother a person. Mm, 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 mm. Deeper. I do not need to go to the labor ward. I don't have to go through that process for me to be called a mother. If there is a child that is in need of a mother and I can offer her those services, I'm going to mother that child better than the biological mother would even mm. would even take care of her. Oh wow. Or that's, rather him. That's profound, my love. That's that's extremely profound. So these people that are busy Fish. laughing at Mrs. Kennedy say, mm. Hey, we show more now nina and you know you bember people how you say it. <laughs> we show more now nina. Yes. People are saying all these bad things, but come oh, on, you people. You're saying she got this child from a junkie and whatnot. Mrs. Kennedy saw a need. She saw a problem. That's if that's that story, that's if it's true. Whatever the case. Yeah. She saw a problem and she gave a solution to it. It doesn't matter where she got that child from. She is giving that child what that child needs. And that is something most of us have failed to do. Failed to do. Let me just read a few comments. Jackson Mwanza, oh yeah, we read this one. Prophet Shama Angel, you're saying, amen, prophet, thank you. Chisa Daniels, saying following. Ah, Lily Mutams, good to see you, my sister. Power of topic. Love Mon Jovu says, keep up the good work. Thank mm -hmm. you, we will, with your support. Just keep sharing the video. Um, Kalumba Mwanakashi, saying following. Thank you so much, keep sharing the video. Just share the video in all the groups. Keep all those, the just, video so just keep sharing the video. Other people may get, get the opportunity to be blessed. Amen. Tofa is watching. <laughs> that's my boy. That's my boy. Rap Don says, excuse me. Rap Don says, I think social media has become the devil's tool in the devil's work. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are behind, influenced. Uh, a lot of people are being influenced to do bad things through social media. Mm -hmm. And he is trying so hard to bring people down using the same social media mm. such that some people, not all of them, but some, they are now comfortable to insult, mm. speaking bad things on other people and all that. Mm. That's why it is good to have these kinds of programs mm. because they are relatable. Thank you so much. This is the wrap done. This is a very uh, powerful program. Uh, comment we need programs like this we just don't want programs where we're just going to start and say turn to the book of john chapter no no, no sometimes we need to talk about things that things that are affecting us yes reality reality and that's what me and my wife are doing we just want to come here deal with things and then deal with things according to scripture 
We just don't want to come here and give you opinions. Ah, what I think. No, no, no. What does God think in this scenario? Empire uh, Clothes Collection is in the building. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll come and visit you in Indola. <laughs> Dakalina says, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. So, finally, honey, I just want to give guidance to everybody that is watching. So, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. I think this is one of my, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, finally, finally, brothers, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, are those things lovely? Oh, me, I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Are those things lovely? Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, whatsoever things are pure, things that are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, mm -hmm. there must be a good report <clears throat> of everything you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And the Bible says, if there be any virtue, if there be any profit, in all those things. Mm. So meaning you can have good things. You can have pure things. But some pure things have got no benefit. Mm. But if there be any virtue. Mm. There must be benefit. If there be any virtue. And if there be any praise. This mm. is where Christians. I think sometimes we mess it up. Because we think God doesn't want you to. Enjoy the praises of people. Sure. There are certain things that you must do. Because people are going to. Praise you and say good things about you. That's what the Bible calls a good report. Mm. So the Bible says whatever things are of good report and whatever things are going to bring a positive impact in your life. The Bible says, think on these things. Why does the Bible say think mm. on these things? Because a man is only as powerful as he thinks. That's true. If you're thinking... <laughs> That's why, you know, when, uh, when, when I, I don't like certain uh, posts, when somebody says um, certain, certain words, you know, and it, it, it is, the Bible has made it extremely clear the kind of personalities we must have. Sometimes we are so blinded by always starting with scripture. The Bible says Luke chapter, so we don't deal with reality with the issues that people are facing in society. That's true. And because of that, that's the reason why, for me, church became boring to me at some point. So when I became a pastor, I told myself I was going to be dealing with the real issues people are going through. Mm. I, was, I told myself I was not going to be a pastor who just comes, appears and just begins to say scripture, the Bible. Because, you know, we grew up being told, you see, you need to stick to the Bible. Stick to the Bible with what? You need to know to, to need to know and have the skill to apply the scripture. Mm. So my advice to the beautiful two young women is nobody knows everything. Mm. Even I who is telling you, that's why I'm using the Bible because I'm not wise. Mm. It is the word of God that is wise. Mm. It is the word of God that tells us exactly what we ought to do. And my scripture is Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Whatever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are just, if there be any benefit or virtue, think on these things. And I want to just, we just want to leave you with this, to say, we want to see peace between uh, Mrs. Kennedy and, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Tina. We want to see peace, we want to see reconciliation. I am in Lusaka, so... Uh, if you need, I think I'll try and reach out to both of you. I'll drive to wherever you are and then me and my wife will have a meeting with you. If we can have that peace, eh? mm. I think it, really, it would really be beautiful. Yeah. If these two beautiful women can reconcile and just have peace for the sake of inspiring the young people. Inspiring the young people out there. You know, yeah. these are both very powerful brands mm. both of them are very Praise powerful God. brands mm. and just imagine them coming together mm. to speak to people about how to build businesses mm. instead of this time they're using to insult each other to downgrade each other 
they can actually use this time to just come together and just work towards building and rather being better mm. role models. Mm. 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 I meant to mention to say these women, both these women have got children, beautiful children. Praise the Lord. And what kind of examples are they mm. giving their children, their relatives, their nieces, their nephews, people that are related to them? Praise the Lord. What kind of example, what kind of, what seed are they planting into oh, yes. their families? Mm. Because for me, being a married woman, I don't think I would want to find myself in a situation where I'm blessing somebody with mm -hmm. insults online, knowing that my husband has got relatives that are looking at me, oh, yes. that look up to me, and that believe in me mm. and want the best for me. I don't think they would want to see that. Not only that, my husband has got friends, my husband has got colleagues, I myself am a brand. Amen. I have to do certain things with people for, for my brand and my Amen. business to Amen. grow. So if I bring myself to a level where I'm actually exchanging words with a young girl, where does that place me? Oh, Jesus. Where does that place me as, oh, as, as a married woman or as an elderly woman? Mm. Such issues, I think you just go to the chap and just say, I'm going to go I didn't like what you did. I didn't like this. Mm. I didn't like that. Mm. How do we resolve this? Resolve this. Praise the Lord. As a young girl, and you know, there's this funny, funny, I don't know how I can call it. Mm. It is a funny beef, okay. for a lack of a better term, okay. that is within us women against each other. It's like we just mm. want to <laughs> see each other fall. That's why I always tell you, I don't have time for friends. I don't have time for bestie this, bestie that, because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's always this hit like i don't know i don't understand yeah. I, I i don't get it there's just this hit amongst us women amongst ourselves because you'll find that today i'm calling oh my god sweetheart, my sweetheart oh, yeah, my oh, and tomorrow the things i'm going to say about you people will be like ha huh, weren't these just close it's like we just have this head we just in as much as we can be close we just wait for you to mess up so they can just throw whatever it is that i've kept for you i just throw them at you <laughs> That's that's the reason, especially that I'm a prophet, I am able to see. There are some friends that I just tell you, mm, that your friend is fake. Eh. All those smiles that you are mm. receiving. No, but you know, she means well for me. Two, three days later, I was <laughs> right. Still go back. <laughs> yeah, and this young, beautiful lady, being beautiful, I think there are certain things that she can learn from Mrs. Kennedy. Mm. Sorry that I don't know her name. But I think there are certain things that she can learn from her. Looking at the fact that she's older and the fact that she's just a fellow woman. Mm. There's always something that we oh, women, when yes. we sit sometimes, if we decide to be in our right state, mm. state of mind, state of mind mm. that we actually teach each other. Oh, yes. I've never seen women sit and you go back home without learning something from somebody. I've, oh, yes. never, I've never experienced that. There can be silly things being talked about here and there, but you know. You still learn. But there's something that you live with. You live with the word. Even saying, the bad manners. Yeah. yeah. You you learn to say, oh, I'm not supposed to do that. Or I'm not supposed to behave like that. Mm. There's always something that you learn. Wow. Women are just created. We are created in a very special way that we are builders. Whatever it is that mm. we do, we build. Oh, Jesus. We Jesus. are builders. That's we, amazing. We, we, we are king makers. That is who we are. So imagine wow. two king makers fighting each other. <laughs> what? In front, of, In front of the whole nation. Jesus. It's really sad. And the things that they have the things that they have just said to each other for me is really hurting in that they both just went out of their ways to injure each other. And what's funny is oh. that they don't know each other, but how can they have so much hate for each other like that? And so much information. So this takes you back to what I said. We women, we just have this natural. <laughs> or oh, maybe maybe social media is uh, is got the way that it just... No, it's not about <laughs> social media. Let's not even bring social media into this. I believe oh, we can use social media to 
do greater things greater and things. achieve greater purposes. That's I've seen true. people that have grown into greater women. I won't mention names, but because of social media, they have become these strong and powerful brands that people want to work with. Wow. That's the kind of power social media holds. But the same social media that you're supposed to use to build your brand, to reach out to young people that really look up to you, and just reach out even to people that don't know you. For me, I have a problem because I feel I would rather be known as a person, and as much as people don't know me, when they hear my name to say Pastor T, they should be like, oh yeah, she's a sweet person. And not when a person just hears your name and they're like, there's always this negativity attached to it. I don't think it's good for a woman. I don't think it's good for, for a person. I don't think it's right. Because we might forget that we are mothers, we've got relatives, we've got all these, and these things affect everybody. Imagine my child going to school and people are showing them, look at you, what your mother was saying, your mother was insulting. Mm. It's embarrassing. And in as much as we might not think of it, it's actually, it's, these are some of the issues that just make our children start having mental issues. Wow because we, we we outlook them and say i'm Papa social media but social media things cannot be deleted on social media. oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. it's really really hard it's really really sad that beautiful women would go to the extent of just calling each other out like that for me okay this issue has just touched me in a different way because <coughs> i think for me these I'm women sure. are people that i think business wise You'd learn one or two things from because Tina has got her own thing going and the other lady has got her own thing going. And they're both working so hard to make sure that their business are surviving. But look at them just try and just wash that off with their own words. Social media is, is it works actually in a very negative way. I mean, it's a, in a very funny way. You will be so amazed and shocked that such things they've done have actually spiraled their, their sales. But all in all, this is me, the Coppola pastor. And uh, as, a, as a pastor, as a prophet of God, and as a pastor, I just want to always preach peace. I always preach peace and sanity. And if a prophet comes in this country and begins to preach heresy, I always come and call them out. Mm -hmm. When there were elections, some of the people I called out were actually my brothers. <laughs> yeah. I still went out and said, you guys were lying. You said this and it didn't come to pass. Yeah. So why I do that? It's because prophets, we are not apologetic in nature. We are audaciously confident of the anointing and the calling that the Lord has put on our heads. Mm. So I have come in conclusion just to say, I'm going to pray for everybody that is watching me right now. Mm. I just want to spend a few minutes just to minister to people. Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Kennedy and uh, Tina, we've dealt with. I think this is a lot of counsel we have. But I just want to bless somebody that is watching, honey, to say something must begin to happen in their life. Mm. I decree and I declare that the Lord removes shame. There is somebody watching me. Mm. Every time you try to do something, there is always people coming and getting the negative side of whatever beautiful things you're trying to do. I mm. see an angel. God is saying he's sending an angel over mm. and deliverance is ha happening. Mm. I see a road. Mm. I see an open road Come for here. somebody that is watching me right mm. now. An open road in the name of Jesus. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Those of you that are believing God for wonderful marriages, I don't pray for people for marriages. I pray for people to have good marriages. Mm. Why? Because I make sure that if you are my follower, I prepare you for a good marriage mm. before you pray for the right partner are you right yourself Shaku mm. mm. I pray in the name of Jesus I bless you wherever you are mm. I pray that the Lord continues to lift you mm. the Lord continues to bless you mm. and I decree I agree with my wife to say you shall have a beautiful marriage mm. 
that you shall have a beautiful marriage mm. in the name of Jesus, mm. that you shall have a thriving business mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare mm. that whatever you touch, what the enemy put an embargo of failure, mm. I put an embargo of success. Mm. I put a, a, a badge of success. Mm -hmm. Nobody shall cut down. You shall not die prematurely mm -hmm. in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I feel a heavy Thank anointing. Jesus. And somebody is just being touched oh, right now. Jesus. I just bless you. Mm -hmm. With, when they said you are finished, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. When they said your, your life is over, I came to tell mm -hmm. you as a prophet of God, mm -hmm. this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. My name is the Coppola Pastor because I have been sent and anointed by God. Mm. Something different is beginning to happen in your life. Mm. Something amazing is happening in your life. Mm. In Jesus Christ's name. Mm. I see somebody that is looking for a job. I see somebody that is looking for a job. I see a job being given to you. You shall come back mm. with a testimony. You shall come back with a testimony. Amen. You shall, if you are watching me, just keep typing amen. Just keep typing amen because something is specifically happening mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Something is specifically happening. Mm. I decree and I declare mm. upon you. Peter shakes my brother. New doors are opening, my brother. New doors are opening in the name of Jesus. Mm. I see new doors opening. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord for your life. Mm -hmm. We bless the Lord for your family. Mm -hmm. We bless the Lord for your job. Mm -hmm. We bless the Lord for you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are having challenges with your health, mm -hmm. I stretch forth my hand mm -hmm. and I release healing mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. May your heart condition mm -hmm. be reversed and be normal. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, I pray it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I bless you. Mm -hmm. It is well with you. Mm -hmm. If you want me to pray for you, um, you can inbox me. If you've got something that is a bit private, you want me to uh, pray for you, mm -hmm. you can inbox me on this same page, and I'll be glad to help you. Mm -hmm. I'll be glad to help you. The anointing. The Bible says Jesus had the power to heal, mm -hmm. and the, the anointing to heal was present, but they could not heal anybody because of their unbelief. The only thing that is distancing you from your breakthrough is because you don't believe. Mm. I am not just a rapper. I am a prophet who raps. Amen. I am the only prophet of God who raps. Oh my God. <laughs> I am anointed. <laughs> and I just want to say thanks to my wife uh, for being an amazing woman. And uh, yes. Um. Before, as we are concluding, as we are concluding, I just wanted to read. Um, this is my favorite scripture, uh, Titus two, verse four. It says, "Older women must train the younger women to love their husbands and their children." Praise God. So to live wisely and be pure, to work in their homes. Praise God. To do good and to be submissive to their husbands. Then they will not bring shame to the word of God. In the same way, encourage the young men to live wisely. And you yourself must be an example to them by doing good works. That is excellent. In every kind. Oh, wow. Let everything you do reflect the integrity mm. and seriousness of your teaching. Praise God. Praise God. So... We are not going to center this on married women and their husbands in as much as it just talks about us older women. We should learn how to teach these young girls how to behave so that we do not bring shame to ourselves. Praise God. And us older women should set ourselves as examples. Mm. How do I respond to you? How mm. do I treat others around me? Mm. 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 How do I work with people? Wow. You, your life yourself, it's, your life itself should be exemplary. Oh my God. This is just a, a word that came to my spirit the time we were praying and I just thought I should thank share you. it. Oh my God, thank you so much. Mm. Guys, we love you so much. This is the Coppola Pastor and Pastor T. And we are saying we love you so much. I'm going to be back here because I just feel like I need to prophesy to some people. I'm going to be back later on. Uh, I just pray it is today. <laughs> but I see somebody's story changing Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. We love Hallelujah. you and we're going to see you. 
we are beginning our prophetic uh, revival where we're just going to there are certain words and things that can only be changed by the prophetic mm -hmm. so i will have some time to teach and, uh, and, and be able to prophesy to you mm -hmm. in jesus name my album is dropping we are done with everybody and with everything i'm excited about the album it's called parabellum it means prepare for war this is the time not to apologize this is the time to do what you are called to do god bless you for me the couple of us and my wife we are saying shalom god bless you shalom, shalom. god bless you guys